Hi guys, what's up? Name's David. Um, this is a little series I'm going to start in Zymouth. Just talk about the new Jojolian chapters that are coming out as they come out by the month. I know I'm a little bit late, but I just had this idea today, so sorry about that. Um, and this is my first time trying this out, so if you have any like suggestions or criticisms of how I do this, please tell me so I can improve, because that's kind of what I want. If you want to leave a comment just saying I suck, that works too, however you want to do it. So let's get right into it. Jojolian chapter 101. Let's start off with the first panel showing off Yasuho being all sad and alone. It's been a little while since we've seen Yasuho um, <laughs> missing an arm. I really don't remember her missing an arm. I guess it may, like, it, may, it did happen. I just don't remember because I'm an idiot. As we see in the first panel, we see that it says, Within the maelstrom of calamity, pull in hope. Which is upsetting to me because I had hope this part for Joshu. But guess what? We'll see later, but <laughs> we we almost saw him improve as a character, but oh well, you, you can't have everything, I guess. The next couple of panels is kind of a recap of the last chapter where Mamezuku gets obliterated and he's dead. <laughs> where you can see Mamezuku just getting so bubbled. Holy crap. First panels we see with the actual manga itself. We see Toru kind of hanging out in the forest now that I remember he was in that force because Yasuho did ask him for help after her now that I remember her arm getting chopped off and yeah she did ask him to go into for help but like obviously he's just camping there observing not doing what she demanded him to do and we get a little like shot recalling back to that weird 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 chapter where like they're just explaining the backstory of the rock people and you can see like him getting stung by wasps which is like Rock people are raised by rot, like wasps, which is cool, I guess. And then, like, you see his skin peeling off, showing the rock form. And he's like up looking lovingly at the bees, like, ah, oh, my papa, my mama. <laughs> um, Toru's kind of like thinking about that fight too and um, analyzing like Josuke's new ability, well, hidden ability, I guess, where he has like invisible soap bubbles that not even Josuke knows about. And it's kind of like Mamazuku referenced in the last chapter, or in the last two, I guess, where like his soap bubbles have to do something with the spin, which I've heard of theories that it might be like string theory, which if you want just a quick recap of string theory, um, it's kind of like, you can correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get this wrong, but it, I guess it's like atoms, like they don't get it. Like there's, there's no, found, like there's no part of atoms that are found to be smaller. So there's this th the theory where like it's string that like kind of spins and creates the electrons and protons that make the core of the atom. So if you wanna pr prove me wrong, go ahead. But this is just like the, from the top of my head. I'm not the guy to be looking for for <laughs> for how to like the whole string theory thing. I am an idiot. Take that as you may. In the next couple of panels, we have Joshu or Joshu, however you wanna say it. I don't mind. And Yasuho kind of like in front of the garage where the new Rokakaku fruit is being grown. And you can see them, I guess they're getting affected by the wonder of you still. You know, Yasuho still has that missing arm. Joshu is getting like affected. Like he's kind of beating himself up by a, about the deaths of his family. Um, I'm personally not sure if they're dead or not. Um, I, I think they're not, but um, I'm not even sure if Norisuke's dead. I'll get updated on that. I'll put like an edit behind me if he's dead or not. You can see him like kind of starting out on early stages of a redemption arc where he's blaming himself for being so useless. And he might, you think he might turn in this chapter. You think, you think. And now in the panels after that, it's their like, <laughs> Yasuho's just tired of, of Joshu crying. He's, and she's like, dude, I, I get it. Your families might be dead, whatever. There's. <laughs> There's an enemy right there with his stand, and he's after that new Rakakaka fruit that's right over there. And, like, we, we're gonna need, <laughs> like, need to chill out for a second. Now she starts, like, begging Joshu, basically, like, dude, look for Josuke or Mamazuku, like, someone useful in her eyes, because Joshu's kind of an idiot and a <laughs> bad person. Like, 
I feel bad for her because I was like, God, she's basically calling him out like for being useless, in which I understand her because he is useless and a bad person. But like, strangely enough, Josh has kind of a a redemption. Like, uh, he's starting on a path of redemption here because I swear to God, I was so convinced. He was like basically being the voice of reason, saying, "I understand your reasoning right now, but I have no way of finding them." Like they don't. How do you know they have their phones on them right now? We can't even find them at Paisley Park. And if we're being attacked right now, and like they're probably being attacked right now, so it was weird to see Joshu be an honest to God voice of reason. But but again, this will all go to waste. God damn it! Then next panels are kind of surprising to me. Like Joshu takes a turn and isn't a coward for a second, and he actually offers his arm. For Yasuho, after him saying, like, you know, I couldn't protect my family, but I'll do the best to protect you. So that Rokakaka fruit, yeah, equivalent exchange. Like, Josh is actually becoming a likable character here, which is crazy. Yashu does mention as well that if he, if this works on Yasuho, that does mean one thing. It might actually cure the Higashikata family rock, like this rock disease. So, you know two birds with one stone. So Josh is actually getting kind of big brained in this part. Toru makes some rustling noises that catches Yasuho's and Josh's attention. So that makes him think like, oh shit, is someone behind us? Guess what there is. And Toru's like letting them, he's just like, fuck it, you know, let them eat it. Let's see what happens. Ooh, what ha happened, huh? <laughs> and now Yasuo reiterates to Josh, dude, if I eat this, you lose an arm, it's not like I lose, like I, my, one of my body parts insert, turns into a rock and I gain my arm back. No, you're losing your arm, dude. So <laughs> I'm not turn, I'm not gonna turn into a rock demon. You lose your arm, bitch. <laughs> Joshu explains, he's like, I understand. I understand the consequence of equivalent exchange. And he says, I can be of some use to you and then we can become one, which is, I guess romantic, I guess. If it didn't come out of Joshu's mouth. <laughs> And then he says, if I do an equivalent exchange with you, Yasuha-chan, I'm sure it'll be sweet smelling, gooey, and slippery. Holy shit. <laughs> if your body and mind exchange with one another, it might create a bond greater than sex. Oh my god. <laughs> He's like, I'm not scared, dude. I'm gonna give my arm because that means we're bonded through having the same body, he assumes. Oh my god, where did this go? Now Joshu's redemption art is out the window, dude. He's like saying like, what, like, should we bite into it together? He's like, raw, like trying to doggy style her. Like, he's like, what, sh what form should we take? Which he's trying to reference the positions of the Kama Sutra level. But this one, like this one, like basically is like, what position do you think we... What position do you think will work best? Oh, uh, well, I mean, what, what form? <laughs> he, he's, his entire redemption arc at this point is like dead in the water, dude. Like, I don't know how he's gonna redeem himself after this. He's, he's trying to like do the wow on her. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh my God. <laughs> and like, he thinks this is heroic. Like, how the hell do you redeem this character? <laughs> Thank God. Toru like snaps a twig noticing like this guy's worse than I am. He's about to unconsensual this woman, like, Toru became a hero. I think it was a <laughs> flake that came out of my eyebrow. Toru became a hero in that part, like, for a second. There's like, god damn, this guy's out of control. I need to stop him. Thank you, Toru. Thank you. Now, Yasuho finally realizes she's like, uh, like, there's someone definitely out there. Like, and she thinks deeper and she's like, wait a second. The guy that I asked for help is actually didn't maybe search for help and he might be out there looking for me. And she's like, she had a big brain moment. She had a galaxy brain moment. Actually, she's like, fuck it. <laughs> I'm eating this fruit. <laughs> like this guy's trying to like unconsensual me. So you know what? I'm gonna eat this fruit. And then she eats the fruit. Like Joshua's arm is like, Argh! it's like going inside his body. And then Yasuo obviously takes his arm and he, <laughs> Josh is like, ah, my arm. He's like, he immediately regrets it. He's like, I don't want this, never mind. Now as Joshu is on the floor writhing in pain, as it says here, Yasuho has now realized that she has to face her former 
yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, well, that was Jojolian, chapter 101, takeaways from me. Um, Josh is an irredeemable piece of trash person. <laughs> uh, there's, I don't know how you redeem him at this point, he's just a big pervert. Which is, I guess it makes sense that they kept him that way. But I am happy they did, they're building up Yasuo to have like a cool fight now with Toru. So, looking forward to that. Or maybe if the next chapter they'll also have continued in Josuke, um head doctor fight. That will be cool too. But thank you guys for watching. Um, please do the usual YouTube stuff. Like, subscribe, and comment down below if you think of ways I can improve the channel. Um, I, you know, this is my first time doing this. So I would appreciate just any kind of criticism to kind of improve and learn and grow as a content creator. Or if you just want to say nice things, that's cool too. Or if you want to see I'm a piece of trash person, that's cool too. However you want to do it. Make sure to also support the Patreon, Zymus Patreon. They've got some neat stuff there. If you want to check it out, that's cool. And yeah. Bye-bye.